Hello and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Today we'll be focusing on the History Challenge. The History Challenge is a legacy style challenge in The Sims that takes your Sims on a journey through history, starting with the Stone Age. There are a lot of rules to this challenge and I'll put links to them in the description box below. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any episodes of this History Challenge. So let's make some Sims history. It is very early in the morning and Fifth has woken up. He's hungry he realizes that there is no food in the coal box they lost all their food and the garden when Ragni unleashed the power of Sulani Mana and caused the volcano to erupt he's gonna go fishing somehow Lee's has made it out of the baby hut Lee's looks like she has inherited Ragni's Sulani Mana trait because Ragni is her father Flint is gonna be a good brother and put her to bed oh, I don't know why I have to take care of this baby. This is my baby. I can't wait to grow up and move off of this land. Ilsa had wanted to have another baby in case Lise was a disappointment. Her mother had said that she had wanted to do that when Ilsa was a baby, but she never got around to doing that. The updated rules say that when the heir has a child that we move into the next era. Our rules are slightly different because I changed the era when the heir grows up. Flint has put Lise to bed. He can see to working on this knife block. He was gonna make a garden planter, but it looks like he doesn't have the ability to do that. He is only handiness level one. And because of that, he is gonna be a poor husband for Bea Boxhead. So he has to come over here and work on this. It looks like Ronan is here from the land of the dead. You know, the houses look different. What happened? Well, you know, Ragni caused the volcano to erupt and he totally destroyed everything. I am so afraid that I'm gonna go to the land of the dead too soon like you and Ben did and I don't want to. Ronin is going back to the land of the dead. Fifth is out here catching some food. Hook, line, and sinker. Fifth feels right at home in the, by the water with his fishing line cast. Is this a revelation that he likes fishing? Yes, he likes fishing because his father Og loved to fish. That was actually Og's aspiration. He's not having any luck catching any fish. He's over here working on his skills. He's hoping that his mother goes out and does that teen girl party that she was talking about. I gotta, I gotta have my skills all set up. When I talk to those girls, I wanna look like I'm a good catch. Yeah, and if my handiness is good and I can build huts, they'll all line up to marry me and I'll, I'll have the pick of the crop. I wonder when mother is going out to do that. Hopefully soon. I'm not getting any younger. We have one lone chicken over there. We did get rid of the second chicken hunt. Like, we're able to get an egg and it is hatchable. That means we can have more eggs. It looks like fifth has reached handiness level two, which I believe is higher than his brother Flint's. Flint's handiness is a level one. Fifth is doing much better. He already unlocked the ability to make garden planters, which we desperately need because we did lose that garden. We're trying to rebuild the Symbilis garden. It's a wonderful day. I am definitely going to go out in the world and look for those teen girls for my son. Let's see if she knows any teen girls before she heads out. Part of the scoring for the early civilization era is you have to have two people that despise you. And it looks like she has that. So, so you're ahead of the game. So we'll have Ilsa travel. Let's look to see if we can find any teen girls. So here we are on IA's family land. We have Holly and Ellie. They're both teens. She does know Holly from when she was in the flying. Hours and bug. Oh, look, Ilsa is here. Oh, hello, Aya. I'm so happy to see that you're still alive. I need to talk to your granddaughter, though. Hello there, Holly. We have a bunch of teen girls here. I'm gonna have another teen girl party. Do you think you would like to come to that? Yeah, would you think you would want to marry into the Symbilis family, Holly? They do make really good Kaba over there. Fifth has been working really, really hard on learning how to build huts. He would be a really good match for you. you might have to move to a different an island though because it looks like this island is populated with women. I wouldn't be adverse to traveling somewhere else. I would love to get off this island. I don't think you can leave this island, Holly. You're the heir after your mother. Boma can leave, but you can't. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, if Holly is the heir, Fifth could come here and he could act as a guard on the land once he's married and he could protect all the women and no one would try to steal any of your granddaughters and he could build more huts here because he's working on his handy 
in this. No, there was another teen girl here. I have to find out where she is. Knock on this door. Elsa knocked on the door, but she sees that the girl that she is looking for is standing outside in the water. Hello, I'm Ilsa Symbilis. I am trying to arrange a teen girl party for my son to find a wife. Oh, I would love to come to a teen girl party. I think it would be a laugh. I never get out of this island. Oh, the last teen girl party was so fun. I think you'd really, really love it. I have to head out and go look for more teen girls for this party. Here we are on the Neanderthal land. Ilsa is going to introduce herself to this teen girl she sees here. Hello there, I'm Ilsa Symbilis. Hi, I'm Nenya Ann. I went to your land. Your mother had a teen girl party there. Don't you remember me? I don't think I met you there. I've come out in the world because I'm going to have another teen girl party for my son, Fifth. We need to find his wife. I want him all set up so we don't have to worry about his future. So I came out here just to talk to you about coming to the teen girl party. I will come to the party, Ilsa. I will be there whenever you decide to have it. Ilsa is looking around to see if there are any other teen girls, but it looks like there are only children and babies and this teen boy here. She needs to go back out in the world and look for more teen girls. Oh my goodness, Ilsa, I can't believe you've come to visit me. Oh, Flea, I know it's been too long. I'm here looking for teen girls. Do you happen to have any teen girls? No, I only have a teen son. Perhaps when you're ready to set up Lee's, you can come out here and talk to me about my teen son. Well, I should probably go look at the box headland to see if they have any teen girls. Yeah, I don't think there are any teen girls over there. I think there was only Bea. Well, I'm going to consult with the dragons. Yeah, you can go out there and look, but I think Bea Boxhead was the only teen girl that was there. Thanks for coming by, Ilsa. I gotta go check on my dog, Mutton. I think I should probably go head out again. There are no teen girls here. Ilsa has traveled to the desert lands. She sees her former lover, Ben. Hello there. My name is Ilsa Symbilis. Oh, hi. I'm Fire. You have a future husband? I'd like to invite you to at my home in the islands near the river. You don't have to bring any guards. It's pretty safe. You might have to fight some bats on the way, but I would like to invite you to a teen girl party for my son, Fifth. I'm trying to find a match for him. Do you know how to cook crabs? It looks like Fire doesn't know how to make crabs because Fire is a bad cook. Well, we have a lots of fruits and vegetables on the Symbolist land, and when we get there, we can see how well you cook them. Oh, I'm excited. I'd love to learn how to cook. I'm feeling a little bit bad, though. I have to go see to my needs. Ilsa's heading back. Wait a minute, who are you? I think this is the librarian. Oh, it's been forever since I've seen you. Have you been out fishing? Oh, Ilsa, I haven't seen you in forever. What are you doing out in the desert? I'm trying to have a teen girl party to look for a wife for my son, but do you happen to be married? Oh, no, I'm not married. Well, you could come to the party. You could possibly marry my son. It's really up to him who he picks. You're leaving it up to him to pick who he likes? I thought that was the mother's job to pick who he was supposed to like. Will I listen to what he has to say about who he likes and then I decide? I gotta go, Ilsa. I'll see you at the party. Well, that was a little bit of a surprise. I didn't expect to find an unattached adult female. Ilsa has returned from her journey looking for teen girls and she sees her son swimming in the water. I'm gonna have a talk with him. I wanted you to know that nothing's gonna bug us. I searched for all the treasures of girls out in the world for you and I wanted you to know we're having a teen girl party. Oh, I'm so excited, mother. I can't wait. You think I will like them? Oh, I'm sure one of them will tickle your fancy. Just make sure you talk to every single one of them, brother. I just gotta figure out what food we can cook. I should probably go fishing then. We really should have good food for the girls. Ilsa is gonna go check on her baby. She doesn't know if the boys fed baby Lise while she was away. So is coming in. She sees her baby. Oh my goodness, my air is not looking too good. I should feed you. Did your brothers not feed you? I can't have you die. You're my heir to the Symbilis family. There, there. I'll take care of you, Lee. A lot has been accomplished today. Leo is working on hatching an egg, so the chickens are going to be coming back. Things are looking better for the Symbilis family. Fifth is helping his mother out by working on planting the garden. I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our Crooked House. If you like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow the Symbilis on their journey through the early civilization era. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.